Dan Perkins, Jasper County Soil Water District cover crop guy. And we're in a field south of Wheatfield, Indiana, and it's October 11th. And this is wheat that was seeded September 26th, and it's now been two and a half weeks. And this is a field that has had manure and manure solids. And this will be used for either wheat haylage or also possibly wheat grain, just depends how the spring goes. And the question here today is, what kind of things can we do in our modern cropping systems, whether they be corn or beans, corn after corn, whatever you're dealing with in your fields, and just do a small tweak to increase our soil health and the using the field the other six, seven months of the year um, and the farming better for more profit and for more stewardship. So one way, of course, is to put this weed on this field that was corn silage and to hang on to that nutrients that were put on with the manure. That's, this is kind of a no-brainer um, and get another crop out of this potentially. So at a minimum, we're protecting from wind erosion and we're providing our soil biology, our critters, with food from root exudates year-round. Um, and we're hanging on to our nitrogen instead of it running out our tiles. But in this system, what we did is we just did one tweak. We added radish seed to the wheat drill. We did two pounds to the acre, so two pounds for every, um, or a pound for every 50 pound bag of wheat put in. And what we got here is radish. Remember, it's only been two and a half weeks of growth here. We'll get another two weeks of growth before this potentially could get killed. 20 degrees for three nights in a row will kill this radish, but if we can get thumb-sized radish, we're holding anywhere from probably 40 to 80 pounds of nitrogen, especially in this high nitrogen situation. And that nitrogen is gonna be held all winter long. This is gonna winter kill, and then as the spring warms up, that nitrogen, about half of it, will be available to next year's crop. Now, next year's crop is gonna be wheat early on, right? So right now the wheat is just kind of establishing roots, not growing too much, but in the spring it's gonna take off. And that nitrogen from that radish is gonna be available, a lot of it, right when that wheat needs it. So that's the beauty of the system. They're complementary. And so this is an easy tweak, no extra pass, no extra work involved, just throwing a little seed in there. And what we have is we have strips with the radish played out, and then also on the other side of the drill, we didn't put radish. So we have side-by-side -side replicated trial to see if we get a, a wheat grain or wheat haylage um, yield increase from this and other benefits. So again, using science and trying to increase our farm's yields by looking at our soils and improving our soil health. Dan Perkins, Jasper County, Indiana, Cover Crop Guy.